This Booster BIM video will show how to use Bitbucket and Source Tree to store and track revisions to your Revit macro source code. To start, I've created a brand new empty module for uh, Revit macro code. The module is called Boost Your BIM. I'm going to then go to Source Tree and create a new repository using the path to the Boost Your BIM source code, which is stored in the this application.cs file. We can see that this repository has been created. I can view the file here in the source tree window. And I will now go to Bitbucket and create a new repository. Click here to create the repository. The repository has been created and is empty. Now we'll go back to source tree. And add a remote repository. Enter the path from Bitbucket and the name. Now, I can take my working copy of my application.cs source code, use the up arrow here to move it into the stage changes area, and then click commit. Here I have a chance to enter a comment about what I've been changing. Click the commit button. And now the final step to actually upload that into Bitbucket is the push command the master checkbox to push this into the master branch. The push is complete and we can go back to the uh, Bitbucket window, refresh the screen and see what's been updated. We can now see that the source file, this application.cs has been uploaded to Bitbucket. And we can see the set of commits, in this case my initial commit, uh, where I put the first version of the code there. Now, if we go back to Revit, and then create a new macro, save my changes, in the file. Now come back to source tree commit the file. You can now see the diff tool shows the three new lines that were added. I can click the external diff tool which I've set up to launch uh, the Perforce uh, merge tool. See the differences here as well. And then follow the same process of committing this change, adding a comment, commit the change, push the change up to Bitbucket, and we can now come back to the uh, Bitbucket window refresh this dialog. We see the uh, new commit that I made just 13 seconds ago. And we can go back to the source file. Again, see the source file here has now been updated uh, to include the new simple macro. Or go back, look at the individual commit, and again, see here the difference in the change that I just made. Using tools like this is incredibly important for good source control management, for keeping track of changes, for backing up your work, and just in general for being more disciplined with how you do your source code development. Uh, these are the best set of tools I've found for development on Windows. Uh, the uh, underlying uh, system is using Git. Uh, 
but I found that source tree along with Bitbucket, which is free for uh, private repositories of up to five users, can also be used to create public repositories to share your work more broadly, and that these tools can be used together to uh, sort of do your Revit uh, API development either in macros or using uh, Visual Studio or another external uh, development environment and they all integrate quite nicely.